What was the most horrific game of truth or dare you've ever played? I kissed a girl on a dare, and she literally gargled dish soap after it happened. If I wasn't gay already, that was the nail in the coffin. Gaytality. I dared a girl to make me a grilled cheese sandwich, but they had no bread. It was horrible. Mother, grill me a cheese. I got dared to answer the door and pay for the pizza we ordered completely naked. Whatever. Easy, right? The doorbell rings. I strip down quickly, and I grab the cash to pay for the pizza. But the pizza guy was not waiting at the door. It was the mom of one of the girls at the party. She had come to pick her up early, only to find me at the door naked. Her husband was a church minister. The party ended pretty quickly when she called all the other parents were called to pick up their kids. Good times. Decided to get drunk with my wife and another married couple. Started out as scategories, then escalated to truth or dare. Both me and him ended up with our asses shaved by each other's wife. Had our toenails painted. Our wives both were naked all night. And ultimately, 7 minutes in heaven with each other's wife. I spent so long blaming alcohol and having to tell my wife I regretted it. I enjoyed her friend. Fist bump for honesty. Every girl has a hot, what if, friend. I was dead to snort a line of garlic powder. I'll add that to the list with Kool-Aid, Pixie Sticks, Crushed Up Smarties, and Instant Powdered Energy Drink. The only time I have ever played Truth or Dare was at a camping trip in year 6, 5th grade. One night, I was invited over to the popular tent where all of the popular boys and girls were playing a game of Truth or Dare. After about 10 minutes of watching people make out and crap, the boy who invited me dared a girl, whom I had a crush on, to kiss me. She ran out of the tent, screaming. Whilst everybody laughed, I silently excused myself and cried myself to sleep. When I was in 6th grade, I was dared to let these three girls tie me spread eagle to the bed, clothed, and do anything they wanted for 10 minutes. I thought they would do something sexy, instead they spent 10 minutes dropping different objects onto my notes, from varying heights. One girl dropped a heavy tape dispenser on me, which made me cry. This may be the worst letdown I've heard in a long while. I was right at the beginning of middle school. We were starting to play truth or dare at birthday parties. We were playing a variation that I think in the US is called X. Minutes in heaven. Anyways I think it was my turn for the heaven thing. I was Suru rooting for the beautiful girl I had a crush with. Instead it gets to a really weird looking girl I wasn't attracted to at all. In my head I'm really let down. This girl wasn't attractive at all. Suddenly the girl starts bawling and runs out screaming something along the lines of not with him. Yep. A similar, but not as horrible situation happened to me in 6th grade. Luckily my best friend was there to comfort me by saying, Wow, what a freaking bee it was the first time I had heard someone my age use that language and I was like, Yeah, she is a freaking bee. 3 cups, 1 with water, 1 with toilet water, 1 with pee water, blindfold, pick a cup. In reality, blindfold, 3 cups of pee water. I never really had a horrible game of truth or dare but one time in the 8th grade my friend dared a friend of mine to give me a lap dance and as it was happening I quietly whispered in her ear that's what daddy likes and she got off and ran. You silver tongued devil. We always did a pair of dares. I to had get sprayed by this mace that is used in correctional facilities. Almost looked like a fire extinguisher. Or call my friend's mom and ask her on the date. I chose the mace. Primarily because I thought she'd accept. The day we updated truth or dare into dare or get the frick out. When I was 13, a girl dared my older brother to show his butt. He pulled down his pants, bent over, and gaped his butthole. That's how he understood mooning. I was dared to climb a friend's apartment balcony in nothing but boxes and sneakers. I executed this task with top Spider-Man like efficiency until another inebriated friend stepped out and began to pee off of the balcony not knowing I was just below. Needless to say, anti-pee instincts kicked in and I dropped two stories down into the parking lot. My profanities were heard echoing for miles around that night. Ha, huh, not knowing. Frick all the sexual answers. I once dared a friend of mine to lick a jellyfish. She did. It stung. Dared to eat a mystery spoonful. To this day, I have no idea how they fit so many disgusting things in one teaspoon. 
When I was 15, a girl I was trying to date invited my friend and me over to a house where she was babysitting. When we arrived, she was there with four of her girlfriends, including her one extremely slutty and rumored stee wielding friend. After drinking everything in the house she thought the parents wouldn't miss, we played truth or dare. Eventually, the girl I liked dared me to go have sex in the master bedroom with the S. I passed and took truth, but my friend took the dare and went off with her. They came back out about 5 minutes later, and no one believed they had done anything. 9 months after that, everybody believed them. Bullet dodged. Drunk, in a pub, dared a drunken friend to swim the canal by the pub. This is in Liverpool, UK, in the middle of winter. He stripped bollock naked, and did it. When he got out he had no discernible genitalia whatsoever. This was 20 plus years ago, and I can still see his white ass sticking out of the pretty freaking rancid canal water. There was this farm party when I was around 15 years old. Everyone was told to bring different types of alcohol or they'd regret it. Guess who forgot to bring alcohol? So the person who didn't bring any alcohol had to be subject to one dare. No pussying out. No limits. Basically I had no choice or say in the dare. I could only agree and do it. So, in the middle of the party the host, girl who was same age as me, shouts that it's time for Brock Attacko to do the dare. She gets all her girlfriends together and they plan the most embarrassing, exposing, devious dare ever. You have to let us blindfold you, tie you up, and do whatever we want for 15 minutes. Forget to bring bring booze, SMH. We. Three guys and three girls, were all in the hot tub at this chick's house, and I get dared to go mash my dong balls up against her parents bedroom window. Granted, it's like 1am, and the whole house is completely dark, so I thought it would be no big deal. Get out of the hot tub, run over to the window, drop my suit, and smash my junk up against the window for a few moments. Then, in the reflective light of the pool, I catch a glimpse of her parents sitting right inside the window watching us from inside they didn't even blink just just watched me it was freaking terrifying terrifying like i saw them for a split freaking second as the light passed over the glass just inches away from my mashed up dong on the other side of the window something from a horror movie i gasped and ran back to the hot tub got back in and just sat there in complete silence a couple minutes later her dad comes outside laughing hands me a beer and then reminisces with all of us for a minute about the crazy crap he did when he was a kid. I've never felt a shock like I did when I saw their faces. It still haunts me sometimes, but it all turned out better than expected. I was 25. Definitely not the ending I was expecting. Once I was playing with three girls, including me, and three guys, we dared two of the guys to eat dried hot peppers without any water. Two turns later one of them got dared to go down on me. Worst experience of my life. Shenanigans that started with me kissing a girl down there ended with my friend and his sister kissing each other back there. We were sober. No one talks about it 15 years later. Playing in a group of girls, all around 13 14 years old. The most kind hearted girl there with the sweetest face, cute little curls and freckles is dared to take a dump on a plate in front of the rest of us. No hesitation. Just giggles. Okay, where's the plate? The girl whose house it was then proceeds to keep said plate in the basement freezer for a couple weeks. For science. Until her mom found it. I don't know if they kept the plate. Had to go to the bathroom and show my dong to a girl. Told her I wasn't doing it flaxid so she would make out with me. Truth from me to my then girlfriend. Is there any fetish you really like but never told me? I love putting things in my ass. This was in front of 8 plus people. Two we barely knew. It was a good night. My first real party was when I was 11 or something. And I was really excited because everyone else was 16 or so. Anyway, we play truth or dare and it starts out fine. But escalates quickly. Someone gets a dare to motorboat some girl there. They're both fine with it. But mid motorboat. Her parents open the door to find a room full of teens watching a kid shoving his face in their daughter's breasts. Dared to do a 7 minutes in heaven with this girl. Went into the closet. It was dark. Stuck my tongue in her ear. Um. Pretty sure that was me. It's all fun and games until your best friend admits he wants to frick your mom. 
When I was still in high school, we played Truth or Dare at a public jacuzzi, but we were young and horny so we played a more adult version of Truth or Dare. So three of my friends and three other girls who were all attractive. It was a win-win situation. It all started with me. One of the girls dared me take some sugar, which she strangely has in her car, and lick it off her friend's tongue, who has not shown up to the party yet. I was stuck off life. I was betting this girl was going to be super attractive. Five minutes later, she walks in. I quickly turn to check her out with a smile. My smile quickly died. She was extremely unattractive. Her breasts were in different directions her face looked like a cow. She walks in and says sorry I was smoking a cigarette. They quickly inform her on the dare. And she agrees rather quickly. I'm trying to stall time. I even called my dad to pick me up. But he didn't answer. Everything was said she had the sugar on her tongue and was waiting. There was no getting out of it. I walk over and look out of her mouth. I see her teeth are yellow and smelled like cigarettes. I went in for the deed. She then breathed the most atrocious smelling breath I had ever smelt. The smell was so horrific I threw up all over her. I quickly apologized and ran out of there. When I turned 17 me and my friends got together to drink some 40s. I liked the one girl who came and thought tonight would be the night I made a move. We decided to play truth or dare and I was dared to hook up with my crush but in order to do it I'd have to touch tongues with my friend Josh. I did it and my crush is now my girlfriend. This man is the ultimate wingman. Somewhere. Neil Patrick Harris is saluting Josh. Not truth or dare, but a bad I never story. Playing after prom my junior year when I made the horrible choice of saying, I never cheated on anyone I was dating. One guy who was there with a friend drinks and then it gets to a girl who takes a drink who had been dating a friend of ours for years. We are all agape at this point when she turns to him and says, we should probably talk. I felt like the biggest butthole ever. Oh yeah, I also saw a guy smoke another dude's pubes out of a pipe. I was 12 or 13. I was at my step aunt's house. There were a lot of young adults around. And then my aunt. She asked truth or dare. I said truth. She asked me if I wanted to sleep with her. Never drunkenly decide that all dares must be influenced by randomly drawn cards against humanity white cards. I was playing truth or dare with a girl I liked on my trampoline when she dared me to eat a dandelion. One of the white nasty ones that the wind hasn't blown away yet. A couple rounds later I dared her to kiss me. She said nope and made me come up with a new dare. I just ate a freaking dandelion hoping I would get a kiss playing this game. I was 24 when this happened. What is this number in truth or dare? It wasn't truth or dare, but back in middle school, we were standing at the bus stop and a kid found a comb, and dared another kid to eat it, and he just straight up ate it right there. I don't even know how he did it, he just ate it. I have always wondered how it got out, if it got out. He made $3 that day. Another kid, in high school, was dared to eat 3 rocks, so he just ate them right there, and he didn't even get paid. He just did it for free, he did it for himself. It was rolling in some horse crap. It was a bad day. The only time that I have ever played truth or dare was with a group of hyper-religious people. I was kinda indifferent but I started playing just to placate them. The wildest question that I heard before I quit from sheer boredom was how many times have you ever said the J word? I kid you not. And keep in mind that they are not 7 years old. They are all over the age of 18. The J word is. It is Jesus. Got dared to rub icy hot on my balls. Passed out crying in the fetal position in the hallway. Don't ever do that lol. In Berlin a friend of mine had to walk through a graveyard with his pants pulled down pretending to be a dog. The funniest part was when there was a couple sitting on a bench minding their own business. When suddenly this stoned guy walks up to them. Barks at them while having his pants pulled down. Went to a little well right next to them. Started drinking water like a dog. Then went back to them barked again and then just sat there for two minutes staring at them eventually he wanted to run away but fell over his own pants you have been visited by the holy doggo like this video and subscribe for a good luck i publish new videos every day until then check another video or don't either way have a great day you magnificent people